If you were starting a brand new CNC subcontract business, what machines would you pick? Well, here at Billet Precision in Swindon, they've chosen three DMG Morris. Uh, so my name's Will. I'm one of the uh, three directors here at Billet Precision. The three of us have know, all known each other for a long time, um, and it was something that we've all talked about before. I guess it's every every machinist's dream is to uh, is to have their own place. We've had lots of uh, lots of meetings, lots of conversations about big and wonderful ideas, kind of where we want to go moving forwards over over all the years to come. We'd seen the way that that machine shops and especially subcontract places and internal machine shops of other places had, had run before, having been part of them and we kind of thought we can do this our own way we can put a different twist on this we can um we can modernize this and kind of bring it into the 21st century as it were in terms of the style of machines that we wanted we wanted to cover as many bases as we could hence why you have the say the three axis four axis and the lathe with the driven tool and the y axis as well um, that just helps us cover kind of as many areas as we can spread across three machines that we won't jump in too far in at the deep end and suddenly taking on a machine shop with 10 machines in it I mean, we looked at DMG at first and we thought that's a dream somewhere in the future. But after getting quotes from a few different places, uh, obviously including DMG, the finance side of stuff, it meant that we could afford to get machines like this without having to outlay the same amount that we would for machines with a, with a lower list price. So the finance, the, the six month break at the start, um, that really helped us hit the ground running and getting customers in from day one. And the payments, obviously, we started payments for them, but it's um, we knew that was something that we could build up towards before having to just on the first day, that's it, you pay for everything and it's all, it's all done. Um, so yeah, that's ultimately what led us to going with DMG. They're just excellent machines. They're good all round. Um, some of the parts we can produce on them are incredible. Um, Tolerance-wise, they hold up to five microns easily, um, which is shocking. Um, some people don't believe me when I say that. But yeah, I've done like 100 shafts and it's hardly changed. The only thing that's changing is the tool wear. The actual accuracy of the machine is brilliant. Um, it's the same in the mills. They've got cooled slideways. So once you've sort of got it set and running in a certain operating temperature, they stay there and it's brilliant. Like the setting is just much quicker. You can rely on the machine to cut what you've told it to cut. Basically, the versatility is incredible um, and that's why we picked what we've picked. So for example, the lathe basically picked one with a decent diameter size. I mean, this is a 450, but I'm sure I can fit about 500 mil in it if I had to. We can also get really long parts. Um, I've, as you said, I've made a part that's about 700 mil long. You drilled all the way through. Uh, the clearance was really tight, don't get me wrong. We like to push our limits with these, but that's what we're all about, really. It's the same in the mills. We've had plates the same size of the bed, but we've chosen these machines so you can do massive parts. But at the same time, I've also done parts that you can hardly even see in here. Um, one of them just about fits on my fingertip. I think the swarf was bigger than the part. But that's why we chose them, because then we don't need to turn work away. Like anything that comes in the door, we're not going to be scared of. We can find a way of doing it. And to be honest, they check the boxes. They're, they're going to get the job done. And I have confidence in that. Yeah, we, we can cover pretty much anything. For example, if the lathe is full on capacity, we can even stick it on the mill. We can turn some parts on the mill. Um, we can use a lathe for milling. Um, we've got such a broad range of abilities to cover anything. It was a big leap doing what we decided to do. We knew that to, to do the type of work and to get the customers we wanted, we had to really throw ourselves into it and uh, give ourselves the best opportunity to hit the ground running, essentially. Which, again, that's, that's why DMG really came into that, because you look at the machines, you, you see the, the work they can produce and how you can work with them to produce the parts that we do and really get the most out of them. Not many people expect to come here, be greeted by three of us all of this similar age. Some of the people come in and they're almost like, oh, where's the, where's the owner, where's the, where's the manager? And they're like, no, no, it's us, it's us. This is, we have combined over 30 years of experience. So we, we know what we're doing and we want to we wanna show that to everyone. With the customers that we have, the good relationships that we have with them and, um, and the parts that we produce as well, and that's using these machines.